What's up, everybody? It's Megha from Couple of Expats, and today we're sharing four tips for new expats in the Nordics. So we just had our for Finversary or Finland anniversary. And this time of year brings us a lot of memories of the past four years, as well as lessons of what we wish we knew sooner. So we compiled this list for people who are thinking about moving to the Nordics or just move to the Nordics because we want you to learn these lessons faster than we did. So let's get started. Tip number one, be prepared to be proactive. So when you're starting off in a new country, it's like starting over from scratch and it can get pretty overwhelming. However, whenever it's possible, it's really important to try to be proactive. And that's because there's just so much to learn, whether it be about your new home, whether it be meeting new people. There's a lot that you can accomplish in these first few years if you are able to put in that extra effort. So yeah, how are some ways that you could be productive? And proactive in your first years in a new country. Um, are there any local tours of the city that you would like to take if you're brand new to a place so you can get to know your surroundings better? Or does the city offer services especially for newcomers that could help you in your integration process? Or would you like to get started to learn the local language already and get to know the culture better? Maybe you would like to make uh, local friends or friends with fellow expats. Or maybe you would like to pursue a hobby, uh, old or new, to have some familiarity in your life in uh, what you enjoy doing. Tip number two, start learning the local language ASAP. Now, this is one you're going to come by over and over again, especially in Europe, because it's notoriously well known for all of its local languages, and that applies also for Finland. Finnish also happens to be one of the trickiest and most difficult languages to learn, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, about learning a language, I wish I had started sooner. I only started learning Finnish three years into living here. I was simply not ready to do it sooner. However, if that is something that you're keen on, and if it's possible, then I would encourage you to learn, uh, start learning the language sooner. Um, in Finland, you can really get by without knowing the local language. Um, people speak a very good level of English, which is why one might not find the urgency to learn the language uh, when they move here. However, how far can you get without knowing the local language? When it comes uh, to a job, when it comes to jobs, um, knowing Finnish can be very, very crucial. There are a limited number of English-speaking jobs, and those have higher competition. And employers really appreciate if you want to know the local language or if you're even willing to learn. So you might be wondering, what are the benefits of actually putting in that effort to learn the local language? Well, first of all, you can take part in coffee room chit chats, which will primarily be in Finnish. You can um, you will likely feel more at home and feel less alienated. And third of all, there are a lot of services in Finland, um, for example, handyman and electrician services that are available um, very much only in Finnish. If you try to speak in English, these services can be hard to attain. So for example, uh, there have been times where we have been on the phone and we have just said hello and the person has hung up hearing that. Or we have sent a request email in English and received a response fully in Finnish. So these are some of the troubles that you might run into if you don't uh, learn the local language. Tip number three, build a Nordic wardrobe. Finland has four very distinct seasons, and with distinct seasons and cold weather comes the need for a diversified wardrobe. A Nordic wardrobe is going to get you through the cold winters and the not so pleasant months. We, there's a saying in Finnish that there is no bad weather, only bad clothing. So if you would like to survive the colder months and still be able to enjoy being outdoors, it's worthwhile to invest in good clothing uh, from the start if 
that's if that's possible um so when i first came i came from a warm climate in india so i wasn't very much prepared for uh the huge temperature change and i remember having to have shopping sessions for both before i arrived and after chris on the other hand arrived from riga latvia and their weather can be quite similar to that of turku so he knew uh better what to expect weather wise now, building a Nordic wardrobe can be both expensive and pretty time consuming. Um, however, if you have limited resources, there are plenty of secondhand stores, and that can also be a very great, good option to get, um, to get stuff from there. And the secondhand stores here are really great. They are in, the clothes are in fantastic condition and can be a great option if you are first arriving in Finland. Now, what are some of the things worth investing in when you first arrive? Uh, a rainproof jacket would be very handy because it rains quite much here. Well, uh, slip resistant shoes for the winter, for the icy times, and base layers so you can be outdoors and enjoy even in the coldest of months. Tip number four, think long-term from day one. Now, we've already talked about being pro proactive, but what if you could combine being proactive and thinking long term? And what if that kind of speeds up your process? So what do we mean by this? When you first arrive in a country, you might not have your goals and plans figured out yet. But if you do take out the time to think about this and try to plan ahead and um, assess where you would like to be in, for example, five years or the next 10 years, that can help you um, already establish what you need to do to work towards that goal. So can you can you break this goal down into 10 steps that can help you that can help you achieve that goal? What can you do today to achieve what you want in 10 years? Because likely in a new country getting uh, getting to your goal is going to take time and effort, but if you can start from day 1, you already have a head start. So thinking long term and long term goals. What can you do to contribute to your long term goal? So obviously this really depends on what you are planning and what you would like um, from your five year or 10 year plan. Perhaps you see yourself uh, at a certain place in your career in five years or so. Perhaps you would like to be a homeowner in 10 years. Um, whether Whatever that is, um, we have some, some points which we found to be helpful. And those are, in Finland, there is an ASP account, which is a government-supported account for buying your first home for individuals who are aged between 18 and 39. So it's a savings program that we didn't know about until we were here for a few years, and we wish we had known about it earlier. Secondly, don't hesitate to contact um contact and connect with professionals on LinkedIn. It can be a great platform to introduce yourself. For example, is there a particular industry that you're interested in for like uh, the pharmaceutical industry? And is there a company that you might w want to work at someday? Uh, potentially you could already approach some of the employees working there and uh, strike up a conversation and show your interest. Uh, showing your interest is always appreciated. Last but not least, uh, don't be afraid to put your skills on display. When you're in a new country and nobody knows you, they might not be even aware of the things that you're capable of doing. So through volunteering or any other means, don't be shy to put your skills on display so that others are aware of your talents. And there you have it, our tips for new expats in the Nordics. So which tips did you find the most useful and relevant to you? What tips have we missed out on and that you think are very essential? Leave it in the comments below so we can find out what you think. There really is no guidebook about expat living yet. So m most of the time, expats have to make mistakes and learn, and it takes a lot of learning and trying and failing um, to know what works and what doesn't. However, we want to speed up the process for you, which is why we're compiling these videos of uh, lessons that we have learned or with time spent in 
Finland. Now we have also a detailed blog about the same. Uh, be sure to check that out. It, it also has some useful links and resources that you might find useful, especially if you're based in Turku, Finland. Um, in case you haven't liked and liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in case you're interested in expat living and integration in Finland, uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Uh, thanks, that's all for today.